Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. In today's McDojo News, we're going to talk about a martial arts instructor slash police officer who was arrested for pawning police-issued weapons. That's correct. He was selling weapons that the police issued him to work with. Let's check out the story. Four times over the past two months, a rookie police officer who dabbled in martial arts pawned several high-powered weapons issued to him by the law enforcement agency for just over $1,200, police said on Thursday. The guns pawned by Leonardo Carbo, age 30, included an AR-15 and service weapons provided to him by the Halea Gardens Police Department. Despite at least four visits to airport pawn jewelry, guns, and gift cards, Carbo's scheme didn't unravel until he allegedly stole from a fellow officer. Police say they were alerted to Carbo after he used his partner's credit card to make purchases at a Walmart, a gas station, and even splurging on $171.56 dinner. The one purchase that really caught the attention of the police and eventually led to his arrest is when Carbo alleged to have used the credit card fraudulently to retrieve one of the weapons at the pawn shop for $350 and purchase another for $385. Carbo had his partner's credit card, according to his arrest form, because his co-worker realized it was missing as he boarded a plane two weeks ago and asked Carbo to retrieve it from a restaurant he had visited the night before. Oscar, Carbo's partner, received a picture message of the credit card from Leonardo confirming that he had it in his possession, the arresting officer wrote in the report. Oscar then replied to Leonardo via text message to keep the credit card for safekeeping or place it in Oscar's mailbox at work. Carbo, who was hired in Halea Gardens this past June, has been fired, said Halea Gardens police spokesperson, Lieutenant Eddie Medina. The investigation is still ongoing. We just had enough to terminate him because he was still on probation status, Medina said. Police officers serve a one-year probationary period after they are hired. Stedman Stahl, president of the South Florida Police Benevolent Association, confirmed that Carbo was a union member, but said he had not contacted the PBA office as of Thursday. Carbo was arrested Wednesday, according to the report. As of Thursday afternoon, there was no record of him at the jail. He's been charged with four counts of unlawful pawning service weapons, petite theft, using fake identification and credit card fraud. Social media sites show Carbo as running the martial arts and after-school center in Halea. State business records list him as a director or agent of the company, but show it's been inactive since 2017. According to his arrest report, Carbo's first visit to the pawn shop was on August 18th, less than eight weeks after he was hired. Police say he pawned his department-issued 40 caliber Glock handgun the day of for $300, he was back on August 13th, this time police said, handing over his AR-15 rifle for $310. He visited twice more in September, the report said, both times trading in a Glock for $300. But it was Carbo's fifth visit to the pawn shop on September 30th that caught the attention of the police. That's the day police said that he used his partner's credit card to retrieve one of the pawn weapons and purchased another. The next day, Carbo's partner called Halea Gardens Police and said his card had been used fraudulently at the pawn shop. Soon he noticed all the other charges. Police spoke with the pawn shop manager, retrieved the records, and were able to match fingerprints from receipts to Carbo. A man answering the phone at airport pawn jewelry guns and gift cards Thursday said the store owner is aware of the situation, but that he had little to say because it's still under investigation. Carbo was taken into custody Wednesday at his home by Miami police without incident. Let's unpack that. So a rookie police officer, only eight weeks into the job, decides, you know what? I think I'm just going to start pawning company equipment. You know, I know I'm here to serve and protect, but this Glock would probably be better to serve me for some cash. You know, I really like this AR-15 they gave me, and it would probably help with my job if I ever got into a situation in which I needed to use it. But you know what? Let's pawn it. Two more Glocks? I see $600. And then he turns around and steals his partner's credit card. Holy crap. Like, this dude's literally a kleptomaniac. You just got a job. 
Like, you'll get a paycheck, son. In eight weeks, you probably received a few paychecks. Like, why would you need to pawn things when you're clearly getting paid? I know what you're thinking. What does this have to do with martial arts at all? Well, this brings up a very specific point I have been talking about forever. This man owned a martial arts studio, at least according to the paperwork, he still owns it, even though it clearly seems to be inactive. But martial arts doesn't have a regulating body. So this guy most likely eventually will get out of jail. And once he gets out of jail, clearly having what seems to be no other true skills is going to go out and he's going to probably reopen his martial arts school because there'll be no backgrounds required for himself. There's nothing stopping this man from getting out of jail and going right back to opening up his martial arts studio because there are no checks and balances. There is no standard. There are no regulating bodies kind of see where I'm getting at. So, since there are no standards, no checks and balances, and clearly no one is going to stop this man from opening up his school again, I think that it's kind of important that his students see his face and make sure that they understand that this guy is clearly committed fraud. And not just the theft, but literal credit card fraud as a police officer. But anyway, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I cannot wait to read your comments in the comment sections below about this situation. Here comes the time in the video where I find out if you watch the entire thing. So here's the question of the day. Whenever you leave your comment in the comment section below, be sure to answer the following question. What do you think the two lines on the McDojo Life logo stand for? And I'll make sure the next video that I post, whatever the next video is, I will give you the answer at the end of that video. As always, thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and all that other crap people online tell you to do. Keep the martial arts legit. Things just haven't been the same. Living strange since my baby joined that dojo. Joined our McDojo. Now she tries to speak.